All right, we're checking out Fosun Plaza. I was just walking by, I thought I'd stop, take a look at it. And they have a beautiful uh, art piece here and also a sunken water display. Uh, let's go check it out. And Wall Street is uh, like a block away. Let's check out this piece here. All right, guys, we caught the bells. That was kind of nice, right? It came at good timing. This is the plaza here. And this used to be called One Chase Manhattan Plaza. And uh, recently, a couple years ago, it was remained, renamed to 28 Liberty. And it's an art plaza. They show movies here in the summer and stuff. This is a piece by John Dubuffet. And it is titled uh, Group of Four Trees from 1972. And there was also a five meter deep circular sunken well for Isamu Noguchi's Sunken Garden from 1964. A water sculpture garden by basalt rocks imported from Japan. Right, he always has those rocks in water and landscaping and that garden's really nice. I wish I could have came here during the week because you can go in the building and you can go down stairs and then I could have got you a uh, better shot of the uh, sunken garden because you can look at it inside. You can go in these glass so uh, lobby there and walk around but on the weekends it's closed man i should have came here on the week right for you guys all right guys we're uptown because we're heading over to pace gallery over in chelsea and we are going to check out some paintings from thomas nuskowski <laughs> guys a change of tone here as we quiet down the pace and the noise from the outside city to the nice quietness of the gallery here and this is titled Thomas Nuskowski the last paintings it features 15 of the artist's final paintings completed before his passing in 2019 this exhibition represents a culmination of Thomas Nuskowski's exploration of line form and color. For more than four decades, he has developed a singular approach to painting that rejected established aesthetic conventions. In the late 1970s, he abandoned the large scale canvases popular amongst the abstract expressionists. He chose this in favor of the small 16 by 20 inch and later 22 by 28 inch canvases canvas boards that were more scaled from my friend's apartments that could hang in a three-room walk-up tenement on 7th Street. So it's more intimate as opposed to the uh, large epic scale of the uh, abstract expressionists. This modest size doesn't mean little ambition. Each painting must work much harder in order to hold the viewer's sustained attention. Hmm. To that end, Nuskowski labored for hundreds of hours on each of his compositions, often scraping them down or rubbing them with a turpentine-soaked rag, so new images could float to their simultaneously dense surfaces. In addition to his rejection of grand scale, he also refused the heroic individualism of his contemporaries, rarely ewing to a single style. Each of his paintings began with an image or images he observed from life, often on his daily walks near his home in New York's Hudson Valley. Using small brushes in order to force himself to slow down, he found greater freedom in limitations. His suppression of stylistic consistency was also refusal of the pressure for established artists to produce the work characteristic of their personal brands, rather than pursuing new ideas wherever they might lead. All right, instead of repeating himself, and I guess selling out, he's going for new ideas and uh, new paths. 
interesting that uh, abstraction could be this way as opposed to the uh, this is like a different direction for abstraction and it could still be popular in 2021 abstract paintings very cool Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this. And check out my other videos. And I will see you guys next time.